Frogs, Egyptian god, a goddess of fertility and childbirth represented as frogs. Well, why they couldn't get all them frogs out of there? Every plague that God sent, that was because of the Egyptian God. You go all the way back. You got to understand Sarah. You got to understand Hagar. Hagar comes out of Egypt. This is why God is telling Abraham, your people are going to be a strangers in this land, Egypt. Where did the girl come from, Abraham? Oh, she's an Egyptian. Who is she? That, that, that's Sarah maid. That's Sarah, that's Sarah slave. Where's she from? Egypt. Tell you what, Abraham. You know you read what you sow, right? You know you read what you sow, right? Well, look. Your people are going to be strangers in that same land. You got that little girl from. And they're going to be in bondage. But at the end of the 430 years now. At the end of the 430 years. It's going to be all good. The clock started when God made the covenant with Abraham. So you got 215 years, boom! Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the children. Then you got 215 years in Egypt. When they come out of Egypt, now we bring it into the 430 years because of the covenant that God made with Abraham in order to understand why Job, friends, had to bring him seven rams and seven bullocks. How, God? How, Abraham? Because Abraham had to give a sacrifice. And in giving a sacrifice, he made the covenant. And that's why he had to pass through the animals to divide the years. So when we get to Job, now Job's friends got to go to him. And they got to give a burnt offering because of how they treated Job and what they did for Job. How you going to teach me on Bible you don't know, man? So now help me understand Jesus. Because Abraham is going to give us that seed, which is Jesus. This is why Abraham tells us about Judah. Judah going to give us Jesus. Jesus going to be the lion. Judah was the cub. Is not that what he said in the 49th chapter of Genesis? So now, Pastor Mike, say that four again.